Father, we bless your name. Lord, we give you all the glory. Lord, we give you all the honor. Lord, we bless your name because you are the Lord. We thank you because you live it forevermore. We want to bless your name again tonight. We want to give you all the praise. We want to give you all the honor. Once again, I want to welcome every one of us to this second day of mercy cry. And I know that the Lord will bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Before we take a session of praise, I want us to pray together. Father, we want to thank you because you are the most high. We give you praise because unto you the answer prayer. Unto you shall all flesh come. Lord, we ask, O God, Lord, tonight, O God, we have come unto you. Lord, we ask that you will hear us. As we call on you today, you will hear us. In the name of Jesus. And your name, and your name, and your name, and your name alone will be glorified. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. I want you to join me as we praise God tonight. And um, the Lord will bless us. In this 30 minute section of prayer, the Lord will reach out to you. He will answer you speedily in the name of Jesus. Can we stand on our feet wherever you are? I want you to join us to praise God tonight. Amen. Glorious God, beautiful King, excellent God, we bow before your throne. Glorious God, beautiful King, excellent God. We bow before your throne. Glorious God, glorious God, wonderful, wonderful King, excellent, excellent God. We bow before your throne. Oh, glorious, glorious. Wonderful King, excellent, excellent God, we bow before you. Oh, we bow before, bow, bow before your throne. We worship at your feet, we bow, Lord, we bow, bow before your throne. You are the glory. Oh, you are 
I want us to worship him again tonight. I want us to thank him because he is the unlimited God. Let's appreciate him again tonight because we are serving the Lord that is not limited by time or distance or situation or circumstances. Let's worship him again. Lord, we give you all the glory. Lord, we adore you. Lord, we bless your name. Lord, we give you all the glory. You are exalted, unlimited God. We bless your name. We give you all the glory. Thank you because you are the unlimited God. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. I want us to know tonight that no matter how smart or how strong 
up where position a man is. Every man is limited. Man is limited in death, by death. Man is limited in wisdom. No man will live forever. So man is limited as a result of death. No government will be forever. And listen to me, there are situations that are beyond the government, the religion, politician, everything. <coughs> but I want us to note tonight that there is no situation that is above God. So once again, I want you to lift up your voice and appreciate that you are serving the almighty God, the all-powerful God, the God that he is, and he's for, he was, and is forever. Let's bless his name. Let's give you all the praise. Father, we give you all the praise. Father, Lord, we give you all the glory. There is no one like you. Lord, we give you all the praise. Lord, we adore your name. Lord, we bless your name today. Lord, we give you all the praise. Lord, we give you all the praise. Lord, we give you praise. Thank you, Father. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. So, Father, we thank you because you are the Almighty. Lord, tonight as we go into your world and as we call upon you today, Father, O oh God, Lord, answer us suddenly Amen. and speedily. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you. In Jesus' name, we pray. <coughs> Tonight, I want to briefly share with us before we go into prayer. We want to share on the power of crying out to God. The power of crying out to God. Psalm 121 says, I will lift up my eyes to the hill. From whence cometh my help? He said, my help cometh from the Lord who make the heaven and the earth. I want us to know that there is no man that can help us and will help us more than God. No man can lift you up above himself. But God is the help of the helpless. And so David said, Oh God, I lift up my eyes to the hill. From whence cometh my help? And then he changed. He said, My help cometh from the law, the maker, the possessor of the heaven and the heart. And so one of the reasons why we need to cry to the Lord tonight is because he is the God that can help the helpless. When expertness fails, when professional fails, when government fails, when skill fails, when they say there is no way out again, there is still a place we can call upon to. And that is to look up to God. And so there is power in calling upon the Lord. And that's why take that's what takes me to Psalm 50, verse 15. It says, Call upon me in the day of trouble, and I will deliver thee, and thou shalt glorify me. Now, the word of God is forever set you. The word of God is yea and amen. The only thing that is forever said to in heaven is only the word of God. And that is why in every other thing on earth can change, but the word of God remains the same. And God is assuring us. He said, call upon me in the days of trouble. He said, I will deliver thee. And thou shalt glorify me. So in this period of pandemic situation, globally, God is assuring us, call upon me. Cry to me, 
I will deliver you and you will give me the praise. So we are assured. And listen to me, and every time the word of God is released, the integrity of God is at stake. Because God's integrity is in his word. God's integrity is in his word. What makes God God is in his word. So when he say a thing, he stand by it. And that's why he say, Everyone and act shall pass away, but a judge of my war shall not go unfulfilled. So he said unto us, In the days of trouble, call upon me, and I will answer you, and thou shalt glorify me. That is Psalm 50, verse 15. Also, he gave us another assurance in Jeremiah 33, verse 3. He said, call unto me and I will answer thee. And I will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. When God repeated a word in different form in the word of God, it is because that word is established forever. So he's telling us again, call upon me. I will answer you and show you great and mighty things. Listen to me. No man will ever be there forever. No matter how close you are to a person, there are times that you will call their phone number. They will, sort, they will see the phone ringing and they will not pick it. Maybe because they are indisposed. Or maybe because they are busy with one thing or the other. But any time a child of God truly call upon the Lord, truly cry unto him, he hear us. And that's tonight as we call upon him. The Lord will hear us in the name of Jesus. Amen. And that was found that, that one is found in the book of Psalm 34, verse 17. The Bible says, The righteous cry, and the Lord hear it, and deliver them out of all that trouble. And that's why we have to say to it yesterday to repent and to cry unto the Lord. For forgiveness and mercy. So that we can have a right standing before him. And Bible says the righteous cry. And the Lord heard them. And delivered them out of all their trouble. And in Psalm 56 verse 9. He said when I cry unto thee. Then shall my enemies turn back. This I know for God is for me. He said, when I call upon thee, then shall my enemies turn back. For this I know that God is with me. I know God is with you this evening. And so as you call upon him, not only will the Lord deliver you from trouble, everything that connote enemy in your life will turn back. In the name of Jesus. There are places in the Bible that children of God cry unto God. I will give us three or four as an example before we pray tonight. Anytime they cry to the Lord, it showed up for them. There was a time in the book of Exodus chapter 15, verse 25. When the children of Israelite left Egypt, left the house of bondage, and as they were going, they got to a stage that they had to see the Red Sea in front of them. And when they looked back, the host of Pharaoh were pursuing them. And so they were in the midst of trouble. They don't know what they are doing. The same way the whole world is in the midst of trouble. And Bible says in Exodus chapter 15, 25, Bible says, and Moses cried unto the Lord, and the Lord showed him a tree. And when he cast into the water, the water were made sweet. That is when they when they have need water to drink. That's Exodus chapter 15. The first time they cried to the Lord, Moses cried to the Lord, and God said, Tread your hand upon the Red Sea, and they parted into two. There was a time they needed water to drink also. And they cried to the Lord. Bible said the Lord had him and he showed him a tree 
and this bad bitter water becomes sweet. Every form of bitterness in your life is coming to an end. Amen. Because sweetness is coming in the name of Jesus. Amen. Also, there was another young man in the Bible who cried to the Lord. He broke all the protocols and he chose to call upon God in his own time. And that is 1 Chronicles chapter 4 verse 10. And Bible says, And Jabez called on the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that thou wouldest bless me indeed. And if you read on that verse of Israel, and Bible says, And the end, and God granted him that which he requested. Because somebody cried unto the Lord. I don't know what you are passing through tonight. Please, in the few minutes we have, as we want to cry unto the Lord, I have an assurance, standing on the word of God, standing on the experiential knowledge of working with God, that God answer prayer, that tonight God will answer you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Bible says, Jabez cried to God. He was carrying a foundational problem. A problem that started when he was in the womb. One day, he decided to change that problem. The Bible says, he called upon God of Israel. And the end of the Bible says, and God granted him his request. Tonight, the Lord will answer you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Also, in 2 Chronicles chapter 13, verse 15, there was a particular time there was war. The Bible says, and the men of Judah gave a shout. As the men of Judah shouted, it came to pass that God smote Jeroboam and all Israel. Even in the midst of war, the Bible says they call upon the name of the Lord. They shout, they greet a shout to the Lord. And God showed up and smite all their enemies. Tonight, all your enemy will be smitten. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord will smite all your enemy before you. In the name of Jesus. And there was another particular man also. Who heard of Jesus passing by. His name is Bartimaeus, the son of Timos. But when you remove his son's name because people call you by the problem you pass through. They change his son's name to blind Bartimaeus. But Bible said there was a day he cried unto God. He shouted unto the Lord, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me and listen to me. Ever pay attention. Jesus stood still. A cry came because somebody cried to the Lord and a chain came. Listen to me. Miracle is available for every one of us. But when you make up your mind to desperately call upon the name of the Lord, He always showed up. And listen to me, when God showed up, the pride of men will be swallowed up. When a man truly call upon the Lord, and God showed up for you, the impossibility will come possible. Mountains will skip like ram before him. Sickness will disappear. Unsolved problems of years, prolonged problem of many years will disappear. And if a nation call upon the name of the Lord also, he releases mercy upon them. And tonight, we have only a few minutes. We want to call upon the name of the Lord. Bible says, unto him that answer prayer, unto him shall all flesh come. So, brethren, wherever you are today, I want you to stand on your feet with me as we pray. And the Lord will hear us Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. We are going to thank the Lord. We are going to appreciate him because he is the God that answer prayer. I want us to appreciate him because we are serving the Lord that answer prayer. Bible says, unto him the answer prayer, 
unto him shall all flesh come. Let's say, Father, we thank you because you are the Lord that answer prayer. Oh, Lord, we give you all the glory because, oh God, at time time any man call out to you, you hear us. Father, Lord, we thank you. 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 Because you answer prayer. We give you all the glory. We bless your name. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Four prayer points tonight. We are going to cry to the Lord. Yesterday, we prayed for nation. We seek mercy on behalf of nation. Tonight, you want to deal with you and your family. And you are going to be crying unto the Lord. I say, Father, Father I have come unto you. In the name of Jesus, by your mercy, put an end to every foundational problem in my life. I want us to lift up our voice to the Lord. That God, Lord, oh God, in your mercy tonight, I cry to you every foundational problem. Is it problem of barrenness? Is it problem of untimely death? Is it problem of disappointment? Lord, every foundational problem. Oh God, Lord, by your mercy tonight, I cry to you, put an end. Oh God, Lord, to every foundational problem. In the name of Jesus, put an end to every foundational problem. In the name of Jesus, oh God, Lord, Father, in the name of Jesus tonight, we call upon your name. Put an end to every foundational problem. Yeah, by the power of your mercy, to the glory of your name, put an end to every foundational problem. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. We're going to call upon the name of the Lord again. Bible says, Jabez called upon the Lord, God of Israel. And God granted him all his requests. We are going to call upon the name of the Lord. Because the program, the theme of the program is mercy cry. So we are going to cry unto him. I said, Father, Father, show me mercy again, me mercy again. And, change and change the story of my life for good. Let's open our mouth and cry to the Lord. Lord, show me mercy again. Oh, God, Lord, and change our story for better. Oh, God, change the story of our life. Oh, God, change my story. Oh, God, for good. Mercy, change this story. Lord of heaven, oh, God, Lord, tonight. I will not let your power of your mercy change our story. Let the power of your mercy change our story. Let the power of your mercy, oh God, change our story in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. There was another man that cried to God in the book in, in, in the New Testament. Two more prayer points. We are going to call upon the name of the Lord. That was Peter. There was a time Peter was walking on the water. And Bible said, and boisterous wind came, and he began to sink. And Bible said, he shouted unto the Lord, Master, save me, I am sinking. Bible said, immediately the Lord stretched forth his hand, and he brought him out. And both of them walked back into the boat. I don't know what is making you to sink now. Financial sinking. Sinking in any form, we are going to cry to the Lord. I say, Father, Father, in your mercy, yes. deliver me from financial sinking. Yes. Deliver me from every, every form of sinking. And Lord, any area that I might have been sinking, Lord, as you stretch forth your end to Peter that day, Lord, stretch forth your end and bring me out. Are you in any situation that you look there is no way out again? Tonight, I cry to the Lord. I say, Father, in your mercy, Bring me out. Oh God, Lord, deliver me from sinking. Yeah, as Peter called upon you, Lord, you stretch forth your hand. Oh God, Lord, Father, stretch your hand to me. Deliver me, oh God, from sinking. Is it your business? Is it your health? Oh God, Lord, in the name of Jesus, we call upon the name of the Lord for total deliverance. For total deliverance. For total deliverance. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. 
in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. And lastly, tonight we are going to cry to the Lord. Blind Bartimaeus cried to the Lord, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And every enlisted him on that day for those that ever pay attention to. We are going to cry to the Lord. Let's say they are told us that mercy is the greatest prayer you can ever pray. The mercy of God is superior to any prayer. Mercy of God cover every prayer you want to pray. Listen to me. When you are dry your best and there is still no way out, what you need is the mercy of God. When the expertise and the skill failed, what you need is the mercy of God. I want us to cry to the Lord tonight. The way the Bartimaeus cried to the Lord and mercy came. Let's ask the Lord tonight. I cry unto you, Lord, show me mercy. Now, this is where we are going to pray it. The kind of mercy nobody has tasted in my family, Lord, show it unto me. Ah, the kind of mercy nobody has tasted in my generation, Lord, show it unto me. Lord, mercy that changes stories. Lord, mercy that make the impossible possible. Mercy, O oh God, Father God, O oh God, that take me from the back to the front. Yea, O oh God, mercy that announce me, O oh God, Lord, O oh God, Lord, as O oh God, Lord, eternal excellency to the world. Lord, O oh God, let your mercy speak for me. Show me mercy, O oh God. Show me mercy, O oh God, over your home, over your family, over your marriage. Ask the Lord that your mercy of the mercy of God will come tonight. O oh God, Lord, Father, God, Lord, show me mercy. Perfume my life with your mercy. Decorate my life with your mercy. Beautify my life with your mercy. Lord of heaven, in the name of Jesus. Lord, mercy, mercy, oh God, that change these stories. Mercy, oh God, that transcend over death and judgment. Yea, mercy that silence the enemy. Mercy of God. Lord, show me mercy tonight. Show me mercy tonight. Show me mercy tonight. Show me mercy tonight in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. The Lord want me to pray with as men that are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. I had declared it tonight. It is your season. I don't care what the doctor has said. I want to agree with you because... It is your time now. Father, in the name of Jesus, Amen. we want to thank you because you are the God that answer prayer. Yes. Bible says, unto you the answer prayer, unto you shall her flesh come. Amen. And I know that when you showed up, the impossibility become possible. The God that has the power to turn yes to know and turn no to yes. The one that has the power to shut the heaven and to open the heaven. Lord, we call upon your name. For everyone, O oh God, Lord, that I've called upon you, O oh God, on this program, let your mercy answer them speedily. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let your mercy attend to their situation. Even those situations they have thought it is impossible, let them become possible as from tonight. Amen. Now for everyone trusting God for the fruit of the womb, I join my faith, O oh God, with yours. O oh God, standing on the word of God. And I said, in the name of Jesus, you womb, hear the word of the Lord. Amen. Receive power to conceive. Amen. Receive power to conceive. Amen. You receive power to conceive. Amen. To every man that is having problem, I send the fire of the Holy Ghost, O God, to your loins. Amen. Receive the power, O God, to conceive. Amen. The power to produce, O God, egg that we, O God, bring forth. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Every blockade in your womb, I command them to be removed. In the name of Jesus, Amen. the mercy of God speak for you. 
in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we have called upon you. Lord of heaven, oh God, let your message speak. Amen. For our nation, let your message speak. Amen. For our family, let your message speak. Amen. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. God bless you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Join us tomorrow for service by 9.30. And the Lord will reach out to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. I want to enjoy you that we'll be meeting tomorrow 9.30 in the morning for service. And in the evening like this, tomorrow also, we'll continue on mercy cry. And the Lord will bless us in Jesus' name. God bless you. I love you. And the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.